Today I'm going to talk about uh, 2D rotation. So um, this is just another type of uh, linear transformation, two-dimensional linear transformation. And um, what we do is we start with uh, the xy plane and we rotate it. So we take some angle theta and we produce new axes x prime y prime. And um, we have a transformation of coordinates. And the way this looks is we have uh, x prime, y prime. I'll just write down the equation. So we have x prime equals x cos theta minus y sine theta. And y prime equals um, x sine theta plus y cosine. And as a matrix equation, we can write this as x prime, y prime equals cos theta minus sine theta, sine theta, cosine theta times x y. And we call this matrix here R of theta. So that's just a two-dimensional two rotation matrix. And um, these have a nice property. Actually, they have a number of nice properties. But one nice property is that if you take two, if you take two of these rotations, so just imagine we rotate again by an angle C. So we're doing this twice. We go to a new axis, x double prime and y double prime. Um, if we do two of these rotations together, so you're going to have x double prime, y double prime equals r of, you, we're, we're rotating by theta first, it doesn't really matter, but um, you, you follow up a rotation by an angle theta by a rotation angle c, remember matrices multiply from left to right. So this is just this. And I think you can see that this is also equal to R of theta plus C. Because a rotation by an angle theta followed by a rotation by an angle C is equivalent to a rotation by an angle theta plus C. That's all this is saying. So we just derived this nice identity. Actually, you can derive it explicitly in terms of the uh, um, coefficients of the matrix. So we have R of theta plus C equals R of C. And then we have some other nice identities, too. If we do um, R of C inverse, so if we, uh, if we take the inverse of a rotation by an angle of theta, I think you can see that that's equal to a rotation by an angle minus theta. So remember, theta is positive if it's a counterclockwise rotation. So, so an, the inverse of a rotation by an angle theta is just going to be the uh, rotation by the angle minus theta. Because I think you can see that once you rotate by this angle theta counterclockwise, if you go back by an angle theta clockwise, you get back to where it started. So that's why this one works. The other nice identity is R of theta the n is R of n theta. And the reason this is true is because if we do n rotations by an angle theta, here n is, is just an integer, um, then that's equivalent to um, rotating once by an angle n. So those are some nice properties of two-dimensional rotation. Um, that's, that's all I have to say for today. Thank you.